What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today we're gonna to be doing a Q&A because it was highly requested, especially as of late. So I decided, what the hey, let's do a Q&A. So if you guys wanna be a part of this process, just make sure you're following me on Twitter, put links in the description below, and I asked you guys to ask me questions, and now I'm going to read them to you and answer them with my face and mouth. Let's jump into this. Sin Papi asks, what was your first phone? So my very first phone was a Motorola V220, I think. This is it right here. But it was like the best thing ever when I first got my very first phone. I knew nothing about phones. All I knew was that I was totally into girls. I was maybe 16 years old. I didn't have a phone until I was 16, which is like crazy by today's standards. But when I was 16 and I got this phone, it was like game on for girls. It was just like straight up, texting was so much easier than actually talking to them. So texting is where it started and then, you know, progress from there. So getting a phone was like a, like a changing point in my life. It was amazing. Sebastian asks, how long did it take you to make the perfect jailbroken iPhone? I'm glad Sebastian asked that because uh, I did a perfect jailbroken iPhone video yesterday, the setup. And it literally took, I woke up at 9 a.m. and I didn't finish, I didn't push the video till right before 7 p.m. And I did nothing but that video. So that can give you an idea of how long it takes me to make some videos. Now this video took a little bit longer because there was, uh, well, per setup videos take forever just because there's always compatibility issues with tweaks I already have installed. So I highly recommend you just straight up wipe your device in terms of tweaks and then start from scratch in order to get these setups working just because it takes forever. And I mean, once I get it and it's working, it's awesome and it works perfectly fine. But I mean, yeah, that took about 10 hours. Adrian asks, can you lick your elbow? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yes. I'll take this off, get real sexy in here. I thought I totally could do that. Does that count? <laughs> That's like not even close at all. Hold on, let me get a rinse. No, I can't lick my elbow, Adrian. Sorry. All right, so Sly Studios asks, what are your thoughts on the Jailbreak Awards this year on Reddit? Um, okay. It's a good question. Um, Jailbreak Awards were, uh, let me just, how do I say this? I don't know. I don't know what I think about the Jailbreak Awards. Uh, I didn't think th that it was very, okay, let me just say it like this. There were tweaks in there, there were themes in there, there were developers in there, and there were uh, designers in there that I didn't think should be in there. Now, that's a personal opinion. That's not, you know, I don't speak for the entire jailbreak community. And every time somebody asked, hey, why was this in there? The, the person that actually, you know, put together the whole jailbreak awards was like, well, you guys nominated that person or you guys nominated that tweak. Now, the problem I have with that is, what if I was just like, hey, I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna say, hey, go nominate freaking Bambi for best developer of the year, even though it's a cartoon deer. So if I get like 10,000 people to go nominate Bambi, is Bambi gonna be on the, on the freaking jailbreak awards? You don't, okay, so you just have a person that says, okay, well this tweak is two years old, so no, it's not gonna win the best tweak of 2015 since it came out in freaking iOS 7 or something. I mean, just have a little bit of common sense and knock those things down or knock them out or take them out, whatever you wanna do. I don't put a lot of weight into that. Tan may ask, bacon or cheese? Bacon or cheese? I guess on my burger? Bacon. I'll go with bacon. Alan says, do vegetarians eat animal crackers? Yes. Yes, they do. Zachariah asks, did you hate Apple in 2015? That is a good question and I'm glad it came up because no. Absolutely not. I did not hate Apple in 2015. Now there's a lot of misconception on that topic because I put out a couple of videos about Apple uh, being stupid 
and I also did something about iOS 9.3. I said, is it kind of lame? And people are like, bro, what the fuck? I could literally hear the tears falling on the keyboards as some of these Apple fanboys were just like, dude, what happened to your channel? You used to love Apple. Why are you doing that? <laughs> God, I twig. And I'm just like, dude, chill out, man. This is, this is supposed to be fun. This is like, you poking fun at a best friend. It's not like, I hate you forever. It's like, why are you wearing those shoes with that shirt? That looks stupid. Who told you those shoes look good? No one. You have terrible taste. That's what it is. It's not like, I'm gonna kill you, I hate you, come here, I'm gonna slit your throat. That's what, that's what these Apple fanboys are actually taking some of those videos as. Now, Luckily, that is not a majority of you. That's only a few select, but those type of comments always stick out because you go through all these positive comments and you're just like, yes, that's awesome. I'm great. I'm happy. You guys make me happy by leaving positive comments. And I'm glad that I made you happy with that video. And then there's one that sticks out and just calls me a big old floppy dick or something. And I'm just like, ah, well, that actually wouldn't make me mad. I'd probably laugh at that but just like stuff that says I suck, this channel sucks. And I'm just like, you know, most of the time I brush it off, I'm just like, whatever. But every once in a while it'll get to you. And those are the people that are commenting on those Apple rant videos. But have I stopped making them? No. So just deal with it or peace out. I don't care if you stick around if you hate my content. I don't know why you're here in the first place, but that's for another video. Dan for Life asks, how long did it take you to grow your beard? I assume he's talking about my original beard. And I started growing that the second I walked out of my last job, um, just because it was very professional and I couldn't grow a beard back then. They wouldn't let me. They'd be like, oh dude, you're getting kind of scruffy. Might want to clean that up. So I was like my way of sticking it to the man. I was like, bro, I'm basically <laughs> jobless. I could grow a beard now. I'm like out riding my bike 20 miles a day with a big old freaking hipster beard. You know, that was my thing. I don't know. It was, it was a weird time in my life. I was lost. I didn't answer the question. Uh, it took about, I had that beard. I did trim it uh, quite a bit, but I grew it out for, I almost had that beard for three years before I shaved it on that, that video where I lost that bet. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll link it down below. Tamar asks, porcupine or hedgehogs? absolutely 100% hedgehogs. Like, what do you use porcupines for? I thought those things are just like, they like shoot needles at you. Hedgehogs are what made my whole adolescent life. With Sonic the Hedgehog 2, oh my God, I played the hell out of that game. That blue hedgehog, that's what it's all about. David asks, would you ever do a podcast? Um, what, would I start a podcast? Probably not just because I don't have enough time to do all that. If I really wanted to, I just don't have the you know, major desire to do that right now. Maybe in the future, I think it would be really fun. Uh, I've actually been on a podcast before with Jeff Benjamin, the guy that runs my Jailbreak Movies YouTube channel. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, and he's actually bringing that back. It's called Cellular FM. I'll put a link in the description if you guys wanna listen to my and his conversation. It was a lot of fun, I had a great time and possibly might be doing again in the future. So definitely check it out. Bushido asks, are you ever gonna bring your gaming channel back? Oh gosh, well, every time, every time that's brought up, I, it, like a little part of me dies inside because I loved that channel. Like straight up loved it with all my heart. It was my baby, it's still my baby. I just haven't updated it in like, I don't even know how long. It's been like two years, but it was so much fun. The only reason that I didn't continue uploading to it is because Basically, my other channel, this channel, started taking off and growing a whole lot. And I was like, I got to focus on this and try to get it up and, you know, get it more popular and get more subscribers and that sort of thing. And as I did that, my other channel fell off and then fell into oblivion. And it's just kind of there now. I've left it up because there's this small glint inside of me that thinks I'm totally going to bring that back one day. and It's going to be amazing and it's gonna be glorious. And I still have that in me. I just don't know when it's going to happen. So I hope so is the answer to that question. Haynes asks, do you like Justin Bieber? <laughs> yeah, bro, me and Biebs. I'm a Bieber for life. I got his face tattooed on my 
pelvis. Yvonne says, why you have to be mad, Apple? Why you have to be mad? And Edgar asks, when is your ass getting on Setup Wars, brah? And if you guys don't know who Edgar is, he's from TechSource. He makes insane videos. Definitely check him out. I'll put a link in the description below. But uh, yeah, we talked about me getting on Setup Wars, which is a series that he has on his channel. It's freaking awesome. But I just don't have everything I want set up how I want it to be set up uh, for the video. And I've been putting this off for like, I don't know, a year and a half. But literally today, I bought a, uh, a TV stand for my TV. So at least I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I promise, Edgar, I'll, I'll, I'll get this set up for you and I'll get it done. I promise. Pizza or hot dogs? That's crazy. I think I mentioned that earlier. I would definitely go pizza. Hot dogs are disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Like if you bite into a hot dog and it's just mush. Have you ever seen how it's made of a hot dog? Oh my God, it's so gross. It's like literally a vat of just vomit. Literally mushy vomit. It's so gross. Love stinkers. Do you plan on making more venting storytelling videos? Yes, I do. Now, yes, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Yes. What is my favorite jailbreak version, iOS 6, 7, 8, or 9? I would straight up say 7 because 7 was when they, you know, went to the flat iOS and that was like a big deal. A lot of people hated it. I thought it was awesome. And being able to jailbreak that after the long awaited uh, jailbreak, I don't know how long we had to wait, but it was like, it felt like for freaking ever. And then finally, when it actually came and we could jailbreak, it was just like, an uproar, like a waterfall that's been like just waiting or a dam that's been waiting to bust. It was just like overload. I was putting up like four, this is not a joke, four to six videos a day of tweaks. It was just like, that was so much fun. That was a lot of fun. So right now, iOS 7. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for the very first Q&A video on this channel. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure you let me know in the comments below and also hit that like button on this video because that's how basically I think. If I see a high amount of likes on a video, I'm like, oh, I better make more of those because you guys like them. So if you guys wanna see more Q&A videos, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys wanna see my face at all ever again, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.